In this video, I wanna talk about one very clear, straightforward concept that I just wish I understood. And because I wish I understood it, and because I know that this thing that I'm gonna share with you has been um, an eye-opener for a lot of the students that we have worked with, um, I'm just gonna share it with you. Hey, what is up? How are you doing? My name is Joe Scooby. I'm a physical therapist, also one of the co-founders of Pre-PT Grind, where we help you get into physical therapy school without wasting time or money. So uh, if you are interested in the PT profession or the physical therapy profession, then you are in the right place. And uh, in this training, I want to talk about something that I wish I understood when I was a student uh, in order to help me panic less. So I don't know if you're anything like me, but as a student, I had moments where I was in, 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 in freak out mode, right? And uh, moments where I had um, tons of anxiety and uh, low points where I shut down. And that's why I'm um, in earlier videos and trainings and podcast episodes, I've talked about anxiety because it's something that I faced plenty of times as a student. It's something that I've also faced um, or actually dealt with many times, even as a professional. So uh, in this video, I wanna talk about one very clear, straightforward concept that I just wish I understood. And because I wish I understood it, and because I know that this thing that I'm gonna share with you has been um, an eye opener for a lot of the students that we have worked with, um, I'm just gonna share it with you, is that cool? So, uh, and then of course, if you value this, uh, then be sure to like, uh, share, uh, subscribe, um, so that we can not only continue inspiring you, but also inspire your peers and friends and other students that you know uh, that would value this. So uh, let's dive in. The, the one thing that I wish I understood as a student that would have been a major game changer and would have helped me panic less. And so uh, whenever you have moments of doubt, anxiety, overwhelm, then come back to this because this is really the, the, the ground level of where to begin in those moments. So um, here's the concept, write this down, grab a piece of paper or uh, come back and listen to this again after you listen to this the first time. It's simply this, there is always a way to solve your biggest problems as a student, period, the end. There, there is always a way to solve your biggest problems as a student. I did not understand that. <laughs> I don't know, like, like, why is that so important to understand? Well, well, it's important for a number of different reasons. The, the, the first one is this, when we have a big obstacle, so for pre-physical therapy students, a big one is grades. Um, another one is the GRE. Another one is, um, you know, nervous about not being able to stand out when you're applying to PT school. Another one is, you know, possibly past history, past rejections. And you're like, man, like I've been rejected from PT school before and I don't want it to happen again. Um, doubts that have come from your family or whatnot, like all these different things that sometimes feel out of our control, right? Our grades, man, my GPA is too low. I don't think I'll ever be good enough. And this concept right here is basically stating that there's always a way to solve what you might sometimes feel like is impossible to solve. Now, why is that an eye opener? It's an eye opener because as students, I feel like that's exactly what we need to hold on to in the moments when we're at our lowest. So um, for me as a student, like I had moments where I was like, man, like there, there's no way my goals or my dream of becoming a physical therapist will be real. Like even in physical therapy school, it didn't stop as a pre-PT. Like even in physical therapy school, my second year of PT school was easily one of the toughest academic years I ever had. I was at the bottom of my class because I just went down this spiral and I was comparing myself to my class. Like it was a whole thing. But 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 at the end of the day, I felt like I wasn't going to be able to make it out of the program because I felt like my situation couldn't be resolved. In all honesty, there were moments where I felt like a fraud. <laughs> I felt like I was going to be found out by you know the, the faculty members. They were gonna realize that I wasn't actually supposed to be in the program uh, because you know obviously like I wasn't qualified enough or there were other students that were smarter than y'all. Like we tell ourselves some of the craziest things. And so um, just understand that wherever you're at in your journey, there is always a way to solve it. If you can understand that, then the way you approach your journey, especially the hard parts in your journey, is going to change. Number one, instead of feeling like you're helpless, you're gonna start asking different questions. So instead of asking questions like, oh my goodness, how am I ever gonna figure this out? How am I ever gonna get my grade to be you know, better? How am I ever gonna get the schools to notice that I'm like, like good enough or that I really want this or that my, my heart is in this profession. Like instead of feeling like 
a victim, you can actually change the questions you ask. And you start asking what I'm going to call empowering questions. So questions like this, who has figured out how to get into PT school after having grades like mine? Who has figured out or how have other students who have struggled with standardized exams like the GRE, how have they been able to figure out how to improve their GRE scores even though they did not do well on the GRE before? Y'all, like you start asking different questions because now you're not asking questions to make you feel worse. You're asking questions to find a solution. And that's how you deal with your biggest problems as a student does that make sense so 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 that's it so 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 three things i want you to ask yourself is number one when you're facing your your biggest problems ask yourself this number one why am i even doing this to begin with right because i think sometimes when we're having some of our biggest challenges it's important to remind ourselves why we're pursuing this career in the first place right like like what was the original reason like that that drew you to physical therapy like like go back to that and, and realize that 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 dream of yours is what's going to pull you up when you're at your lowest. Does that make sense? Number two, self-awareness is going to be super important. When you start realizing that there is a solution to your biggest problems, then all of a sudden now you have to be self-aware. Like, what are my challenges? What are my obstacles? What have I done to try to solve them? Like, like what resources do I have at my disposal online? What am I doing to try to get answers to my big problems or at least put myself around other people who have experienced this? And then the last thing is, of course, am I seeking out help, <laughs> right? Uh, and like seeking out help is always tough, right? Because sometimes it makes us feel like we're weak, but it's probably one of the strongest things you can do as a student because it means that you're taking your career so seriously that you're not willing to guess anymore. And one of the best ways to stop guessing is to put yourself around other people who have been in your shoes before or people who understand how to get you through the process that you're going through right now. And that's it. That's it. So, so y'all, I'm telling you right now, this is what I wish I understood when I was a student. And now I am relaying it to you because if you're currently at a point right now where you feel stuck, if you're currently at a point right now where you feel overwhelmed, if you're currently at a point right now where you feel like you're not going to be good enough to get to the next step, whether the next step for you is getting into physical therapy school, whether the next step for you is um, applying to PT school or graduating from PT school or whatnot, regardless of what your next step is, I want you to start realizing that there is a solution to your biggest problems. And there's plenty of other students who have been in the exact same position you're in right now, who have dealt with the exact same problems that you're having right now, and they've been able to figure it out. They've been able to get to the other side. And if they could do it, then you can too. And how do I know that? Well, we've had plenty of students that we've coached that have been in some of those difficult situations, very low GPAs, multiple rejections before getting into school, struggles with the GRE, struggles with figuring out how to get better grades even after retaking classes, all the struggles with not feeling good enough, struggles with you know being a first generation student, feeling alone, all the, I can go down the entire list. And if they could do it, like I said, you can do it too. And that's it, that's it. So I hope that this was valuable to you. And like I said at the very beginning, if this was helpful to you, then be sure to share this out with a friend or someone that you believe would value this. Uh, and we will see you on the next training. Have a good one, bye.